our way to this day in September, and right here in Northside, Pennsylvania. off trying to have fun um, hopefully doing some some uh, races that get the team real pumped up to you know maybe like push our limits and do the races that are longer and harder and, and you know do that together as a team I think that'd be really cool so uh, we're gonna do it again so I was at work on the 16th I was running my staff meeting. I have a team of six, mm -hmm. and I uh, had an auditory hallucination. Mm -hmm. Just like imagine having a song stuck in your head, right? Except ambient sounds like machines and computers and any sound becomes part of the song mm -hmm. until you're like you, you can't tell them apart. Completely conflates, and then that alley ooped into a big seizure. Really? Yeah, it went dark, and uh, they brought me to the ER. And, I had, so a few, having, like, I had a few auditory hallucinations in the fall, mm -hmm. but they weren't they weren't like next level like the one on. Uh, but yeah, basically my brain was pregnant, you know. Wow. And uh, wow. At, at work, my water broke. I was in my office, Ryan, and I was on a conference call, and all of a sudden I hear the house phone ring, and my cell phone lights up, and I get a LinkedIn message, and this was his work trying to get in touch with someone at our home. And then once I finally was able to pick up my cell phone, they relayed the news of what had happened. So I'm in, I'm in the ER and the first picture that they take, they're like, you have something huge in your brain that's not supposed to be there. And so basically you have people coming in saying, hey, we want to do some brain surgery. Sound good? Again, we let Christopher take the lead, support him as much as, as possible, and enjoy each and every new day that we have together. Uh, oh, Sam got hit by a car. I heard. Yeah, he's okay. But those are the two biggest newsworthy items I know. You registered for Leadville. I did? You did. That's great. I'm you looking forward to doing Leadville <laughs> the morning you hook up from surgery. That's great. What would Leadville entail? That's a 100 mile mountain bike race with 10,000 feet of climbing in Leadville, Colorado. So pretty high up there too. I think that's what I like, think it you know. tops out at 13,000 feet. Okay, okay. Like, you know, I don't want to have brain surgery again, but yeah. let's say I do. That attacks on basically another six weeks of this ordeal. Yeah. And 12 weeks from now, I am relaunching my life. Right. That's the point. Like you or me or anybody can get wiped out tomorrow. Right. So what are you doing today? Ask a lot of questions to your surgeon when you follow up. Yeah. Okay, what are my heart rate and blood pressure parameters? Right. Keep it focused And if, is there any specific like movement, running yeah. you don't want me to do? Yeah. And the biggest thing is really just at this point, protecting your incision. But 
once that's all healed, there really shouldn't be any reason for you not to do like as intense activity as you were doing before. For sure, yeah. The doctors didn't recommend any limits after my surgeries, so I, I left the hospital motivated to train and be a stronger athlete. Food of the future. But even then, I was questioning the self-centered training and performance lifestyle I had led for most of my 20s. How could I, especially now during the pandemic, design a life with balance and wellness? When I came home, the best of humanity was at my front door. I was overwhelmed by love and compassion. It was clear, other people make this life worth living. The bike is so central to my friendships and core experiences, and I think I want more of that. I'll do Leadville, but it's not gonna be for myself or for some top result. This will be for and with my people. Have a great trip. Miss Sue, enjoy your time with your friends. Sorry I'm not gonna be there, but I'll be with you in spirit. I love you. I'll be see safe you. and have fun. Okay? See Bye. You Fashion catalog. I can't talk you uphill, you're too tall. <laughs> it's all up there. Welcome back to the family. Welcome back to Leadville. My name is Garrett Grossi, your race announcer, and boy, does it feel good to be back. Riders, i got to start by asking you one question. Are you ready? Come on, are you ready? <laughs> oh, keep that energy up. You're going to do just fine. This race is not just about our each individual, but about all of us being here. In fact, if Ken and Mary Lee were here, they would be talking to you about welcome home, right? Welcome back, welcome home. <laughs> I don't want you worried about me. I've, I've been there. Uh, I've been whipped off and stomped on before. So I'll be back. If you put us in, put us in your hearts, uh, put us on our bikes, and uh, every belt stroke, and take us to that finish line. Get that, get that buckle. Will you do that? <laughs> Uh, gravity of uh, what you're here for it um, really started to kind of sink in so um, you know I, I mean I caught myself doing it a couple of times while we were here of like hey you know uh, maybe this year we're just scouting it out and then we come into next year and then I just thought about what happened in 2020 so um, I mean the only thing I wanted to say was don't don't treat this like it's a recon mission like like we're here now and this is the opportunity to do it 
We're going to try and do a pipeline that's 28 and 73. We'll try and do that, and then 40 and 60 will definitely be there. Or maybe if one of us gets there sooner and stays later, that way one of us is there. Yeah. When we started this in 2011, um, the first like two years were pretty shaky, and uh, we never quit. And I'm glad, I'm glad we did because if we did, <clears throat> we we wouldn't be here. And for for starters, but you know, someone told me a long time ago, if you quit. The relief is is temporary, but the regret is permanent. So mm. don't quit. Time chip on team jersey. All right, and yeah, it's like they when you register, they actually ask you, um, you know, do you have any medical conditions and stuff? And uh, this thing happened in the spring where my adorable next door neighbor, he's just like. 12 year old kid he knocks on my door and asks me like hey we're uh doing this thing at school for relay for life and like we can we can make these cards for you know people that have cancer and and like walk for them w would you mind if i did that for you and i was you know so touched but at the same moment it was like one of the few times where i had to outwardly identify as a cancer patient and like you know, I'm, I'm healthy. I don't look like I'm sick all the time, right? And rarely ever. And for whatever reason, it, I think it helped. It was weird. I think it helped me just say, yeah, I have that. It's part of me. I think that's kind of the power of just telling the truth, right? It's easier when you tell the truth. are aired up. Everything's cool on them. You know what you're doing, Dan? Nope. I'm going to rear end all the bikes. <laughs> I'm not the most confident downhill mountain biker. I'm comfortable going uphill, pushing against the hill, or on, on the flats where I can see a lot of what's ahead of me. I'm not super comfortable flying down a mountain at 30 miles an hour on like gravelly, gravelly roads, going around a corner when you're also surrounded by 20 other people on mountain bikes on a road you've never been on before. They're big mountains and you're gonna go fast. You also want to go fast too, because that's where you can make up some time. You're going to be going like four miles an hour on some of these uphills really slow. And if you can, you know, average a lot higher than that going downhill.
that fourth here. Jason laid down an absolute golden line all the way down Columbine. All I had to do was mirror him. Everybody's just rooting for me to get back to getting back to thriving, man. You know, but I am thriving. This experience will change my life for the better. I know it. I know it. It's, it's weird and it's it's a mixture of so many things. And it's gonna change, it's gonna change how I approach every day, right? So would I wish for this? No. Do I wish this could have come to me in another way? You bet, man, but whatever. These are my cards now, you know? And, and that's what it's about. We'll get back to it like there's nothing to it. <laughs>